All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Elder Scrolls. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do We can. Thank you, Governor. Counselor Von Dacia, a traitor and a Daedric cultist. I can't believe he had us all fooled for so many years. But that's a matter for another time. Evely tells me you have a lead for finding these so-called ambitions. A deciphered document claims the vault is in the OGL back. Do you know what that is? Counselor Leviticus was right to send you to me. In Argonian, Ogel Bach roughly translates as Pit of the Outsider. There is a natural formation to the south that bears the name. Unfortunately, it lies in territory claimed by the Sulzan tribe. The Sulzan tribe. Are they going to be a problem? Shoot. The what Sulzan else is new? are a savage people. Nagas who revere the forces of death and chaos. You must traverse their land to reach the pit of the outsider. Of course we do. The Nagas recognize no authority other than themselves and their leaders. Of they do not welcome, welcome visitors. visitors. Of course not. It'd be too easy. We understand. Where is this pit of the outsider? South of Stone Wastes, in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest caution and stealth. Try to avoid starting a war with the tribe if you can at all help it. Bring whatever you find back here. Gideon will keep it safe, I assure you. Everly and I will head out immediately. Ogel Bak, the pit of the outsider. It's a natural formation located south of Stone Wastes. Just proceed carefully, as it lies in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest you meet Evely on the outskirts of their territory and go from there. Teleport right there. Oh, shoot. Out to the main road. I thought it was here. It's not. It's here. Uh. So this we are. Looks like we are going to be taking a road trip. Could teleport here, but net, net, net. We're just gonna.
seven. They had a frostbite. Seth's arm chops. Where do you get the other ones? Shoot. Change that stupid color. We woke that dude up. I thought he was dead.
Over here, let's talk. Over here, let's talk. Ready to make our way into hostile territory? We need to find this pit of the outsider, see if the vault is there, and reach the ambitions before the Order of the Waking Flame beats us to them. Any on thoughts on how we should approach this? Hmm. Well, you heard Governor Keshu. This is Sulzon territory. We want to avoid contact with this hostile tribe of Argonians if at all possible, but we need to reach the pit of the outsider. Also, I had another one. Another what? Another waking vision. Happened when I got here. I think that strange book is trying to tell me something. I saw these weird cubes with symbols on them. Symbols like the ones in the book I'm carrying. I'm not sure what it all means. What do you want to do, Everly? I want to find the vault. With any luck, we're way ahead of Vandasi and his cultists. Maybe we can get in, grab the weapons, and get back to Gideon before anyone even notices that we're around. Are you ready? I'm ready. Remember to avoid the Sulzan, but keep an eye out for the Waking Flame cultists. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them before too long. Now, let's go find the Pit of the Outsider. What happens if we can't avoid the Sulzan? Just what you'd expect, I imagine. They are bloodthirsty savages who revere death and chaos, after all. Be ready to fight. That's all I'm saying. Could the Sulzan and the Order of the Waking Flame be working together? It's possible, I guess. But we haven't seen any evidence of that up to this point. Look, we won't find out any more if we just stand here and talk about it. Let's get going, all right?
shouldn't be there. Ah, little mortals. Come speak to me. There you are, little mortal. It seems we once again find ourselves on the trail of the same mystery. I expect we can aid one another in the events that are about to unfold. Aid one another? What are you proposing, Lyranth? Since we last met, I have been watching the activities of the Order of the Waking Flame. I followed a couple of their scouts to this location and discovered this charming Daedric vault. I believe the ambitions that you seek are locked inside. You believe? Haven't you gone inside yet? Unfortunately, the vault is warded like the Imperial Annexes. Wards designed to repel Daedra, including me. Remove the wards and open the way and we will both have our curiosity satisfied. Oh, and about that strange book that the elf carries. What about the strange book? When the Wood Elf and I crossed paths when she first learned of Leovic's secret, I sensed something unusual about her. It's the book she carries. It's an ancient and powerful tome of questionable origin. Questionable origin? How so? I believe the book to be the Mysterium Zarxis, a tome penned by Mehrunes Dagon himself. Or so they say. Whatever the truth of its origins, the tome is both powerful and dangerous. Evely must place it on the lectern to disable the wards. You mentioned cult scouts. What happened to them? I dealt with one of the scouts. She will not bother anyone again. The other may have slipped away while I was studying the vault's exterior. So I suggest you pick up the pace. The cultists could return in force at any moment. All right, we'll try to enter the vault and see what it contains. Remember, while the wards are in place, none of us can enter the vault. Use the book the wood elf carries to disable them and open the way. Once the wards are down, I shall meet you inside. Now hurry. The waking flame could arrive at any moment. Tell me more about the Mysterium Zaxis. Zarxis. Dagonists and Dramora familiar with such things say it was scribed in the deserts of the Deadlands. I did some research after I sensed the Wood Elf had it. An artifact of great and evil power, it is said that merely handling it could be dangerous. Dangerous in what way? That I do not know. Artifacts related to Daedric Princes often possess a corrupting influence. At the least, she will probably feel a sense of discomfort if she hasn't experienced it already. She should guard it well, but tread carefully. All right, I'm placing the book as Lyrinth suggested. You check out those cubes. Hold up. Oh, okay. It's telling you what, to, what symbols to use. Well done, little mortal. Now I must explore. We have a friend. 
we open the door and Lirinth just rushes ahead without us? Figures. Well, I guess we should start looking around too. Everything we learned so far indicates that the Daedric weapon should be in here somewhere. Remind me about the Daedric weapons. It all comes back to Emperor Leovic's secret. How he hid the four ambitions before Varen reached Imperial City and killed him. We don't know exactly what these four ambitions are, but the documents indicated they're Daedric weapons of some sort. Right. And Van Vandacia and his Order of the Waking Flame Cult are seeking them too. Yup. And Lirinth thinks they could arrive here at any moment. Let's look around. Oh, hey, one more thing. The book sort of started to tingle the moment we entered the vault. Just thought you should know. Lyra thinks that the book is a Mysterium Xarxas. If so, it may have been written by Maroon's Dagon. The Mysterium what now? Never mind. I can worry about that later. Right now, we have a job to do. Okay, all right. Let's go look around. I want to find out what's so important that Leovic had to stick it in a warded and sealed Daedric vault. to the vault. It's a good question. Right behind that dude that was with us. Eight hundred and forty four. Are we still inside the vault? This doesn't look like Blackwood to me. Who knows where we're at? Another warded door ahead of us. There's another ward on the door ahead. Ready to see if we can open it? Do you think it works like the one outside? Only one way to find out. I'll place the book on the lectern. Then we'll see what happens. Then here we go. The book is really tingling. Get ready to turn the cubes after I place it on the lectern. The book. It's almost as though it wants to help us open the door.
Never mind. We need to lower that drawbridge. What is this? A bridge overlook boss. There must be a lever or a switch around here someplace. That did it. Now we can get across. But pretty. Huh. Danger Hearts was worth a lot of money in like Skyrim. You need those to craft out. Plus you need them to craft your armor and weapons and stuff. you had gotten to. I need you once again. Little mortal, I can proceed no farther. Another ward bars my way. Deal with it, will you? There's another ward at doorhead? Yes, this interior is littered with the damn nuisances. Disrupt it so that we can continue our search. I do not believe we have much time before the Daganists arrive. This place certainly feels bigger on the inside than it looked from the outside. Very perceptive. The construction is imbued with a magic that allows the vault to behave as if it were a small pocket of oblivion. In a way, I suppose it is. Those exterior portions you pass through, that's where the Deadlands and Nern coexist. Coexist? It's all part of Mehrunes Dagon's master plan. He believes Nern belongs to him. And he has long sought a way to combine his oblivion realm with the mortal world. Hmm. Perhaps the ambitions are another step in that direction. Now, open the door. Another ward. Damn! I'll place the book. You turn the cubes.
Down! You did it! Now, let's see what's so important it needed all this protection. How's this, sister? More dramatic, Destron. More panache. Kalia, just make sure it actually looks like me this time. Oh, brother. I always capture the real you. People? Where are the Daedric weapons? Who are these intruders? I sense the cultists. They're close. Wood Elf, check the other side of those doors. Careful, brother. They look dangerous. Dangerous? We're heroes! I knew I felt something right, strange. Here. Like glass here. shattering in the distance. Who are you? And why have you disrupted the wards? We're here on behalf of Leowen and Gideon. We're looking for the Four Ambitions. The Four Ambitions? A curious phrase. Pray tell, what are these Four Ambitions you seek? We're not exactly sure. We thought they were Daedric weapons. Weapons? We have no weapons here. At least none that I'm aware of. Feel free to look around if you like. Perhaps you'll find what you're looking for. Perhaps not. Explain yourself. Who are you, and why have you invaded our sanctum? Four ambitions? As in an earnest desire or something to aspire to? How can an idea such as that also be a thing? We thought the ambitions were danger weapons, but now I'm not so sure. Weapons? There are no weapons here. Just my sister, Kalia, myself, and our caretakers. Teachers used to visit in the past, and the Emperor. But we haven't seen another living soul in many years. Look around if you must, but then leave us in peace. Do you mind? Those are my personal thoughts. Interesting. I can't remember the last time Destron and I entertained guests. Destron says my talent has improved. Interesting. A totem revering Mayroon's Dagon, I believe. Hey! We've got trouble! I need you! Dacius cultists have arrived. We need a plan. Portals opened all around me, and suddenly there were cultists everywhere. How were they able to pour? How were they able to pour so deep into the vault? Well, we did take down all the wards that protected this place. I put arrows in as many of Van Dacius' crazies as I could, but the rest of them scattered. Where did they go? Deeper into the vault. Damn, this place is enormous. I assume you didn't happen to find the Daedric weapons back in that other room? No, just those twins.
it, no, no, not this way. What's going on? Where are we going? Whatever happens, stay close to me. How touching. Makes me want to rip out my eyes. <laughs> King Flame claims the ambitions for Mayrune's day gone. There you are. The waking flame claims the ambitions for Mayrune's day gone. Destroyed her quick. Someone said the daggers have gone north. They wanted to take us away. Me and my sister, I, I, I couldn't let them do that. That was an impressive display of power. You think so? When they charged in here and demanded we go with them, I just had a bad feeling. I, I really didn't mean to obliterate them like that. Between what I saw and what they said, I'm guessing you and your sister are two of the ambitions. I'll have to take your word for it. And I'm expecting a with scroll or something, not people. Our caretaker's dead. We can't stay here. We'll go with you, if that's all right. We're born in ambition. We'll get you someplace safe. Those people, they wanted to take us away. Did you know your brother could do that? Yes, but I never saw him unleash that much raw power in a single burst. Or against living targets. Obviously, our training has served us well. Do you have that kind of power as well? Destron has always been more powerful, but if you're asking if I can defend myself, I won't let anyone take us from here without our permission. Destron and Kalia, the twins, they're the ambitions. 
Well, at least there are two of them. I have to say, I did not expect the weapons to be people. Whatever. Vandacia and his cult still want to get their hands on them. So what do you suggest? Obviously, we have to protect them. Get them somewhere safe. Especially since we're the ones who unlocked their vault and gave the cultists a way to get inside. Where should we take them? Hmm, good question. Leowen is still reeling from the cult's last assault, but Governor Keshu offered to help. I say we take the twins to Gideon. After that, we can figure out how to locate and secure the other two ambitions, whoever they are. And so the secret finally becomes clear. The ambitions aren't just weapons. They are mortals of a sort. Obviously, these two have been imbued with immense power. Power that has a distinct Daedric tinge to it. I have learned enough for now. You learned enough? You're leaving? The mystery intrigued me. I wanted to know what the ambitions were and why the Daenys wanted them. Now I know. Or at least now I have some idea. You can still use your help. There's more to learn and we still need to stop Vandacia. Vandacia is a mortal problem. Best dealt with by mortals. In the meantime, I wish to look into how these ambitions gain their power. I have my own avenues to explore. But do not fear. I am sure we shall meet again. In fact, I guarantee it. Come with me, you two. It's not safe here anymore. You want us to go outside? Time to say goodbye to this place, Kalia. It will be a new adventure. These two will be safe here in Gideon, Everly. You have my... You Thank did you. well to bring these twins to Gideon. I will make sure that they are well protected. Is it true, though, what Everly told me? These are the ambitions you sought? 
We believe so. The cult has certainly seen to think so, and Destron demonstrated great power. Yes, Evely was telling me about that. Daedric weapons in the guise of Imperial hatchlings. Interesting. What will we do with the twins? Feed them. Provide them with a place to rest. We'll keep them safe. But what about you? Do you have any ideas on how to find the remaining ambitions? Or what to do about Von Dacia and his cult? I'm not sure. I suggest you discuss your options with Evely. For someone so recently out of her egg, she has remarkable instincts. And a good heart. You must have some opinion on what we should do next. Anything I can offer would be a guess. You and Evely are much more familiar with the situation than I am. For my part, I will gather the Blackfin Legion and make sure the twins are comfortable and safe. On that, you have my word. Well, we found two of the ambitions and kept them out of the cult's hands. Now we just have to find the other two and deal with Vandasia. Any ideas on how we find the other ambitions or Vandasia? Not yet. But I'm sure something will occur to us. It usually always does. In the meantime, take this. Your share of our compensation from Leowin. I couldn't have found the twins and saved them without your help. Thanks. While Governor Keshu takes care of Destron and Kalia, we need to determine our next move. I wonder if Captain Rian has any news about Vandasia. Oh, I almost forgot. Keshu mentioned that a courier arrived for us. They're waiting to deliver a message. Any idea who sent the courier? Maybe Captain Rian or Counselor Leviticus? Maybe they sent news about Vandacia. I'm sure that stinkweed is still out there, searching for the other ambitions. And the twins too, I Stink suppose. Stinkweed. Vandacia won't stop until we stop him. All right, what do you want me to do? Talk to the courier. Find out who sent them and what news they've brought us. I mean, provided you're still willing to stick around and help. Typically, I suppose, you've already finished the job Captain Rian hired you to do. So, what do you say? I want to see this through. I'll talk to the courier. The courier's waiting right over there. Talk to them and find out what they've brought us. All right, guys, I'm going to stop it here for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.